Morning, it's Jake. Hey, I'm standing next to my worm bin again, and I just want to show you what's going on inside there because they have completely flourished in the past six to eight months. Let me show you the red wiggler activity. Now today, what I'm doing is I'm gonna go spread a couple thousand of these little guys all around the yard. Let me just show you it down in here. I mean, there's thousands of them. And basically, I'm gonna take piles like this and go spread them around the yard. For instance, uh, and I'm gonna put them in this five gallon bucket. But for right now, just to show you an example, take a pile like that, spread aside the mulch, and just place them down inside next to this brand new cameo apple tree. Just cover that back up. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna fill this five gallon bucket up and go spread these little guys around. Okay, so here we go. I just got a nice little harvest of red wigglers you can see there and mixed with their beautiful bacteria and their, their um, castings. And I'm gonna take this back in the back to the uh, fresh uh, garden beds that I just created. And when you're creating your own soil, I've noticed, you know, you can wait for the worms to find their way into the garden beds or you can just inoculate the garden beds and get them going. So these beds, you can see my potatoes coming in right here. These beds, I created my own soil. So, you know, it's a wonderful soil mix, but the worms, can either find their way there naturally or you can just sort of get them going. So just kind of cover them up, let them know that's their new home. Now there's lots of rock dust in here and, and the straw itself is food for them. So they're going to have a nice little home there and I'll come back in a few months and I'm sure there'll be thousands more. You can see my other beds here. I've got some parsley coming in. Planted these guys, my favorite green. And same deal, just kind of spread apart the, the mulch there and put in a nice layer of red wigglers. And they'll, make, they'll set up camp. They'll stay right there. You can see it's mixed with their castings and a little bit of compost that they're breaking down, but cover that back up and they'll just hang out there. They'll make, they might make their new home. So here's the last bed. You can see the vertical beds to my left. Here's the kiwi taking off. Okay, so same deal here. I've noticed there's a little red wiggler activity in this bed, so I'm gonna put them in there. You can see, there they go. So that's one of the best things I think I've learned in the last year and a half of taking care of gardens is the awareness that don't take care of the plants, tend to the soil, tend to the micro herds in the soil of bacteria and worms, etc. And that's where you're, that's where you really take off in your growing is tending to the soil. So same deal here, just pull the side where it's already naturally low mulched and we'll stick in some red wigglers, cover that up with mulch. It'll be like 80 degrees midday. So then the moisture will stay in there. And here's, here's another, I'm gonna do it around all the fruit trees too. So here's my little gala. And we'll just pull aside the mulch and dump the rest in there. So, it's just one way to kind of spike the natural activity in the soil. And I've been doing this for about a year now, a year and a half. And I can't even tell you, I mean, it's thousands, millions of, probably tens of thousands of red wigglers all over this yard. So. Anyway, just wanted to share that one little method of spiking the activity in your garden, and and it's worked for me, so maybe it'll work for you. Hey, check this out. Just while we're here, show you one of the edibles of the morning. One way to thin out your garden. Check this out, little. A mm. little bit of soil on there, but mm. carrots. Have fun growing your own.